guys, so off the back of my recent video titled 10 things you shouldn't do here in Japan, I wanted to make a video called 10 things that you should maybe might want to possibly think about doing whilst you're in Japan. It's not like things to do and see, it's also things to do and say that's gonna make your trip run just a little bit smoother. You know, it's gonna be better for everybody involved. So let's start with number one. You might want to learn a few basic Japanese phrases. Unfortunately, uh, it's like nobody really speaks English here in Japan. So learning basic things like hello, goodbye, thank you and excuse me, it might just help you out a little bit. Hello in the morning is ohayou gozaimasu. Throughout the day it's konnichiwa and then at night time it's konbanwa. So that might just help you out a little bit. Goodbye. Super easy, you just say bye bye or see you or jane. I never really hear anybody say sayonara. I think I've heard it once in over a year. It's just kind of phased out, I guess. Thank you is arigato gozaimasu. Or if that's too much for you, you could just try arigato. It will, it'll, it'll be enough. It'll do. <laughs> and so this one phrase is kind of like, excuse me, please, thank you, pardon me, can I have your attention over here? Sorry for that. And it's sumimasen. Sumimasen is going to be like your saving grace. You can use it for so much and you will hear it all the time. It was the first phrase I was ever told to learn before coming to Japan. So I would highly recommend knowing that one. Sumimasen. Number two, just be respectful and keep to yourself at all times. Like you don't need to be, you know, shouting at a friend who's 10, 15 meters away. Japan is a really, really quiet country, so it's kind of best to just like uh, keep it down. If, especially if you're going about in big groups, you don't need to be talking so loud over each other. Like, especially Australians and Americans are really, really, really loud, and I don't know why, but we just are. And Japan is such a quiet country, so just kind of be aware of your surroundings and just lower your voice a little bit. Number three, it goes without saying, this should happen in every single country, but to give up your seat on public transport to, you know, the elderly or the pregnant or mothers carrying a child, like, I shouldn't have to explain to you why, just do it. Just be a good human and just do it. This one, <laughs> it might be a little hard for a foreigner to get a grip on, but you can bow here in Japan. Uh, it's very common, everybody does it, even I do it. I even bow on the phone and I see other people bowing on the phone. So it's pretty common to just bow to show your respect. It doesn't have to be like a full deep bow, but just a little, you know, a little head bow. It goes a long way. <laughs> Another thing I would highly recommend you doing is to just walk into any restaurant or bar some of the ones in down in the back alley, some of the ones that look like someone's house, some of the ones that like barely even a door are like the best time you will have or the best food you will experience. I was very scared for a long time, like, oh no, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen in there. But like, it is the best thing to do. Go down any back street and just walk into any restaurant and you're gonna have some amazing food. It's gonna be great. Just, just do it. Just walk in anywhere. Just try it out. Now this one I would recommend making friends. Um, a lot of people who live in Japan don't have that many Japanese friends and it's because mainly Japanese are afraid. I don't know if you don't like for me I don't speak Japanese and some Japanese people are really afraid to use their English. So like if you're out in a you know in public or in a pub or a bar or a club you know like when you drink alcohol, it like releases your inhibitions and so you become more confident and it's same for like Japanese people become more confident with their English and sometimes they want to practice English and meet foreigners and yeah, just have a good time. I often have people come up to me when they're drunk and just try to chat to you. So yeah, just make friends, you know, like have a conversation. You never know, you never know who you could meet. Another thing you can do here in Japan, which blows my mind is you can like if you go to a restaurant or a bar or something like that you can like reserve your seat with like your phone your bag your wallet or something like that it's like crazy if you leave just like even a towel a lot of people carry around like these kinds of things you can just leave that on a seat and nobody will touch it your sunglasses your laptop your valuables are going to be safe like 
The first time I saw it, I think, was Government Gomez, and somebody had just left their MacBook and their iPhone and just gone to order, and they reserved their seat with that. No one's going to touch it. No one's going to take it. It's very, very, very unlikely that you know it will get stolen. So yeah, you can feel free to reserve your seat with your belongings. It's crazy. This one is one I kind of struggle with, especially uh, with my dietary requirements. But if you don't have dietary requirements, try everything. Seriously, like, don't just stick to what you know. Try everything. If you go to a restaurant and you can't read it, like the menu, just point at something, or you can ask them, like, what's your recommendation? Or some like, you just try everything. Go to the convenience store and try something new from the convenience store every day. It's like the best thing. Even after a year, I'm still just trying things, you know, like just take a leap and just try it. I would recommend getting out of Tokyo. Like Tokyo just seems so appealing to so many people, but some of the best times I have is have had is outside of Tokyo. Literally, you could just get on a train and get off at any stop and explore that area and you might have the best time. So just be a little adventurous and step off the beaten track. That goes with my last one, which is get lost. Seriously, get lost. You could live in Japan for your whole life and never get to even explore every street of your local town. Just seriously get lost. Just take a day with no agenda, no time and just walk everywhere and get lost and just enjoy the things that you come across and the things that you experience because it's just amazing. Some of the, the things in the back streets or the little towns are just so mind blowing and so beautiful and you never know what kind of humbling experience you're going to have. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos kind of similar to this. I will link them down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Also, if you have uh, recommendations or anything else that you should or can do here in Japan, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below.